Hey guys, Rob from Georgia here once more. Now that we've got, I hope, the idea of John Carpenter's The Thing being a remake out of the way, I was thinking, why don't I just do a quick top five of the remakes that I do consider remakes in my collection? And really, I don't have a lot of remakes, but I do have a couple that I thought would be, you know, beneficial just to throw out there. So, my top five uh, remakes. And I don't know, I probably would adjust this order a little bit more if I actually thought about it more, but since I just want to do this kind of quick, um, I think the, I don't know if there'll be a whole lot of complaints with the order, but here we go. Um, actually, we can remove this one since I do not consider this a remake because if it were a remake, it would be the best remake ever made, hands down. But it's not, so we kind of throw it out. Uh, for number five, Tom Savani, 1990, his remake of George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Uh, you know, I mean, a couple of reasons this is good. I mean, uh, you know, just the uh, rearrangement sort of of the characters and uh, how they deal with the different situations uh, versus the original film. Uh, a chance for Tom Savani to showcase some updated special effects, of course, in terms of the zombie work and uh, just uh, in the ending. Uh, just, uh, you know, a pretty decent remake, I think. Um, I don't know if I've ever really heard anyone uh, tear it up. But uh, it's, not a bad, it's not a bad remake. For wanting to go back to the original source material and do something a little fresh and in order to bring it up to speed with where we are with special effects, it's not a bad, it's not a bad film. So, uh, Savani's remake of Romero's original, number five. Number four, this one, I, you know, I was, I was going to do, and I'll just say it, I was going for number four, going to go with Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. But then I got such... You know, I, I went into such depth, or well, not really a whole lot of depth, but I mean, I, you know, I spent some time on how important uh, Who Goes There was as source material for John Carpenter, and it got me to thinking, I don't even know how much Spielberg went back to the original novel uh, to make his movie. I just know his film, you know, it, it's pretty spectacular in terms of what they were able to do with the original. But I wasn't sure, so, you know, I don't know... I decided to go ahead and throw another one in there instead. So for number four, Peter Jackson, uh, King Kong. I know this gets some hate. I mean, this is a long movie. But you know, the one thing, one thing uh, it ought to be recognized for more than, well, two things. The restoration of the lost trench scene. This, to me, was one of the biggest reasons why to do this film. Um, and also, I mean, Peter Jackson... I mean, I've heard him say a lot, you know, when he was little, King Kong, the original 33, was the reason why he wanted to be a filmmaker. And so he kind of got a, you know, had a dream come true and uh, enabled, in order to, you know, his ability to be able to do this film. Um, but the trench scene, the lost trench scene that was, I mean, for the new, uh, the re-release of the 33 version, I know they sort of restored it to the best of their ability. But the fact that he got to go back and actually look at that trench scene uh, and do it to me that that is one of the strongest points of the film um, I cannot stand Jack Black as Carl Denham Robert Armstrong hands down is Carl Denham but you know it is what it is it's a fun movie to go through it is long it is long for number four King Kong number uh, three I think uh, the top three are three really stand out good maybe great remakes uh, Rob Zombie for number three, of course, is a uh, remake of John Carpenter's classic, Halloween. This has been discussed and discussed and discussed. I think it's episode 27, 28 uh, in the 22 Shots of uh, Moods and Horror podcast. Um, and uh, throughout the 22 Shots, uh, this has been discussed quite a bit. In fact, I know they rated this one quite high. Um, and it is. It is a great, gr it is a great remake. Okay, it's not John Carpenter's film, but it's a great remake. Um, so, Rob Zombie's Halloween. For number two, go with uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Philip Kaufman, 1978. And uh, what a cast. And you know what I think is the greatest thing about this remake? Not just the cast, um, and, and how much it, it takes itself serious in terms of 
owing itself to the original. Um, but by bringing back the hero of the first, to have him, you know, we sort of catch up with him from the end of the first one, raging through the streets and then ultimately gets hit by a car, um, it's great. It is great. That was a great, great nod to the original. And this, and this film really takes a few giant steps forward, I think. The cast is absolutely... Donald Sutherland, man, is awesome in this movie. So uh, for number two, the uh, 78, 78, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And for number one, again, as dictated by my collection, I don't have a lot of remakes. But who can argue with David Cronenberg's remake of The Fly? I mean, this this is a great film on its own. If we didn't even know about The Fly, this film would be absolutely great. The fact that we do know about The Fly, Vincent Price, come on. This film stands stands on its own. This is a great, great film. So, for number one, The Fly. And, and you know, and every once in a while I hear uh, mentioned on the 22 shots, I think, uh, how great would it be the rumors that Cronenberg would love to return to this material I would that would be so so great um, to see actually happen uh, so David Cronenberg's the fly number one so number two again invasion of the body snatchers number three Halloween number four King Kong and number five of course night of the living dead uh, remake and uh, I don't know what anyone really thinks about war of the worlds um, as a remake, it's a good movie. I mean, it's Steven Spielberg, so I mean, you're gonna have your, you know, your Spiel, you know, Spielberg shots. Um, but uh, it's not a, that's not a bad remake either. But uh, but that's my top five of remakes. So uh, I can't wait to see uh, any comments in terms of my big question relating to John Carpenter's film, um, and uh, what kind of feedback you get from that. But anyways, this will wrap up top five of remakes. And uh, as always, have a great week, and uh, go Bills.